What is up, everybody? Tuberverse TV here today. So we're going to talk about the big reveal at San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con yesterday. The Spider-Man 2 new trailer and not new, tr new story gameplay trailer they showed yesterday at San Diego Comic-Con. So as you can see right now on the screen, we see uh, Harry, uh, Harry Osborn, Peter's best friend. That's been always in the lore of the Spider-Man franchise or whatever. So we see that he's going to be a big, big part of the game. Um... They changed some character models, as you can see. We see Harry, we see Miles. Job, huh? And Miles, I have to say, I am not feeling that haircut from Miles. I know it might be a small nitpick, but what is up with this haircut? It's like, this what well, you got like the half, like the hairstyle you had in that first game, is like a half, half ball fade and half like dreads. That's such a weird look. Let me see. There was one person. But they were like saying that, hey, this is like the standard hairstyle for black people in video games now. It's like they do like the, the dreads or they do the half dreads situation. Because even new, the new Prince of Persia character has that same hairstyle. It's like, really? <laughs> black people have a unique variety of hairstyles you can choose from. What is with the dreads look? It's like, really? But you got that hairstyle. I mean, it's not enough of a... Um, I mean, it's kind of annoying, but it's not enough for me not to play the game. But yeah, they definitely changed some character models up because Peter looks, he looks young, but looks a little bit older as well than in the previous game. Mary Jane, uh, let me see if they get a better shot of her. She kind of looks extremely older in this game. Like she looks, she can be um, Peter's mother at this point. And then this guy, um, a lot of people were talking about how this character looks. How the detail is not that great. Um, no, I don't really know. I mean, it it is, it is very like kind of lacking detail, but I mean, I don't I don't know. That's gonna be a big deal. Like this person says, look at the hair, LMFAO. This is next gen power of the PS5 because this is definitely not that detailed. Um, they must have took the day off for detailing this character, but you know, people are some people are saying it's still like a, the PS4 games just remastered and not really using a full part of the ps5 i'm not trying to be too negative about this game because this is still probably one of the best looking playstation games we have of this year because this year has been pretty sparse for playstation content so you know i'm still looking forward to this let's continue um i mean the pros is that we get to see like a lot of characters return a lot of um yeah, she just looks so much older in my opinion like that let me see what let me go back to that Oh, where did they? I just skip it. Let me go back. Okay, here we go. She looks so much older. Like she, she, like she could be Aunt May or his mother or something. She doesn't look the same age as Peter Parker. <laughs> they don't look nowhere similar in age. Maybe it's just me, but I think the character model for her just looks a lot older. She like she could be his mother at this point. So it's just like weird character model decisions they made. It's just I'm just not feeling. It. But the game looks fun overall. Like Craven model looks pretty great. Uh. Like it's be the same gameplay from the last game, and so it looks great to me so far. But it's just a few nitpicks. Oh, uh, this was another reveal. So apparently, this is supposed to be Mr. Negative. At first, I didn't recognize who, he, who, who this even was. He looks completely different. I mean, I guess he's been in jail. His hair grew up, but you know, I kind of want to see the interaction between him and Miles. So pretty good story points I want to see um, because he did take away. He did kill his father. So I want to see that interaction happen. Um, so yeah, um, they showed the trailer off. I'm not going to play the whole thing because you've probably seen it already, but the trailer looks good. A lot of story elements I want to see be tackled in the second game they're going to handle. It seems like it. So, uh, And they also announced a PS5 bundle, a new PS5 uh, limited edition bundle right here where you get the, the custom PS5 console, the controller, and you get the digital version of the game as well. So... The console looks really nice. It looks really great, but I don't know if I'll buy a new PS5. I'm contemplating if you can like pre-orders at like a GameStop or a Best Buy. Because back when GameStop used to let you pre-order consoles, since the whole pandemic thing, you couldn't pre-order consoles anymore for whatever dumb reason that is. So hopefully this isn't only a thing that you can buy only on the PlayStation Direct website. If you can buy it from GameStop and do a pre-order at GameStop, I might actually pick this up. That's an if, because I have a PS5. I don't really need another one, but this looks a lot cooler than the regular PS5, so I might pick it up. But that is only if GameStop gives you the opportunity to buy it um, from their from their pre-order from their store or whatever. So looks great. Um, 
people are going crazy about this. So yeah, I'm really got too much to say. I mean, uh, they did a pretty good reveal. Uh, it's just like the character models are kind of iffy <laughs> for some of these characters, but you know, I was seeing some people being super harsh, like saying, "Hey, some of these characters don't look that detailed." Uh, but I mean, that looks okay to me. That looks okay. Power of the X, 25 years in the making. Okay. Bro, this is true next-gen graphics on the PS5. Yeah, that is kind of wild. Some of the models aren't looking too impressive, but you know, like the main character models, they look really good. So it's just that the haircut is <laughs> like really, really good change of models. Here, you can change this haircut to be like just the standard copy and paste dreads at this point for black characters. That is kind of annoying. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely um, looking forward to this one. And there's a lot of talk about Venom too. Like I, I believe they released a screenshot before this show, before this trailer, and people were going crazy over the screenshot of Venom. But I was like, we kind of knew Venom was going to be in the game, so I don't know if people were going crazy over the screenshot. I guess they were debating if it was going to be in game or not. Let me see if I can pull that screenshot up real quick. Give me one second. Okay, so this was a screenshot they posted beforehand, and people were debating if this is going to be in game or not. And I was like, I don't see what you got to debate about. I mean, it looks like a standard like video game character model in current days so i guess people weren't believing this was in-game in-game models or something like that but this is the screenshot they posted this is the in-game model so it looks slightly different less a little less detailed than the screenshot they posted but it's like it's not that big of a deal i'm not gonna nitpick over that but the game looks great definitely a game i'm looking forward to to play on my playstation because once again this sure hasn't been too great for places your first pretty content so this gives me something i can get, be proud to own a ps5 over so i'm definitely gonna be playing this day one it looks great so far um like i said a few nitpicks but overall this looks great uh yeah so those are my thoughts about this the good the bad and the ugly about this uh reveal so far Hopefully it's going to be a 90 plus PlayStation banger, as some would say. Hopefully it's not a disappointment, because some people say it's just going to be a DLC rescan of the previous game. But hopefully I'm looking for, I'm still I'm keeping hope alive this game is going to be great. Like, I love the I love the first one. I love the Miles Morales spinoff game. Hopefully this game stays in that same caliber of greatness they delivered so far in those other games. So, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this trailer. This gives you more hype for the game. Are you going to pick up the limited edition console? Maybe you think it looks trash. Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like for this video. As always, thanks for watching and peace.